Chances are, if you own a Wii, then you are really excited for Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And thanks to the kind people at Nintendo, we've been provided with daily updates one after the other. That said, some of the updates have been pretty crappy, but most of them are pretty good. So we're going to celebrate by taking a look at both. Hey, I'm Bonfire 300 doing the world's worst ScrewAttack.com impression for Jay-Z Pictures' best and worst Smash Bros.com updates. Items really do make Smash Brothers unique. Like, they just, they're fun to use, they're really effective, things like that. And it really crushed me when I saw this one. The update for the smoke ball. What is the smoke ball? Well, it's an item that you throw. And it releases smoke. And it keeps releasing smoke. It seems pretty annoying when you wait an entire day to get an update, all so you can get something crappy like that which no one is excited for. The fifth worst update, the smoke ball. <laughs> Another item going down on the crap list is the devil. Most items are supposed to help you out, but this guy really just throws out all logic. Sure, he makes the screen scroll over, which is kind of cool in its own sense, but come on, look how far over he scrolls it. I mean. That can't help anyone. That's just gonna kill you in the process, and it essentially just ruins the whole point of the match. Fourth place, the devil. Let's take a look back before the Smash Brothers update site was created. Before, after the first trailer came out, I was so excited for the game, I would scour the internet constantly looking for any information that leaked. And then when the second trailer came out, I was so excited, and I saw 15 seconds left at the end. Wow, there's something big that's gonna be announced. And what the hell was this? Fox? No one thought that Fox wasn't going to appear in this game, and we it basically waited four months to find out that he was. In fact, worse yet, what the hell is wrong with his face? Looks like someone beat him with an ugly stick. It wouldn't have been so much of a problem now, but back then, you waited four months just to find out something crappy like this. In fact, you know what? I just remembered how pissed off I was. I need to cheer myself up somehow. Yeah, that did it pretty nicely. If there's anything worse than an update about something that everyone knows is going to be in there, it's an update about something that everyone knows will be in there, and no one cares about. Last week, at the end of the week, about, we were treated to character appearances. Like how Mario jumps out of a pipe at the beginning of the match, or Fox drops out of an Arwing. What made Nintendo think we even care? Second place for crappiest update? The character appearances. Number one. Just a while ago, it was apparently December 3rd that Smash Brothers was supposed to come out on. And what happened? All the way to February. Bang! Just like that. To think, as of this point it would have been a month until Smash Brothers comes out. But nope, delayed till February. I understand that some work needs to be done, but come on! Three months? That is just a bit ridiculous. Well, I suppose the only thing that could have been worse is if it turns out that Jack Thompson was on the development team. So you've seen the worst of the updates, but how about the best? Number five. Let me tell you, the first time I saw Final Smashes, I thought it was kind of meh. It looked sort of gimmicky personally, which just doesn't fit in Smash Brothers. But now watching some more recent videos, they are just really fun looking to use. I mean, it's basically just an excuse to rain all hell down on your opponent. I mean, look at that. Mega damage! Number four. I'm about to say something right now, which I'm sure all of you have also done. We all just played a melee, the adventure mode, just so we could do those side-scrolling areas. Why? Because they were a lot of fun. They felt really fluent and were just simply fun, nothing else. And Nintendo responded to this by giving us a full-on adventure mode. Just one side-scrolling level after another, complete with awesome boss battles and a ton of enemies. Not to mention co-op play. Fourth best update, the Subspace Embassy, or Odyssey. Not sure which one it's called. I guess I should have checked ahead of time. At the end of the original Smash Brothers trailer, when you watched Snake jump out of that box, just like me, you probably thought that you'd seen Jesus. Okay, maybe Jesus is a bit extreme, um... Chuck Norris is a better example. Basically, it was an open window to third-party characters entering the brawl. But what really made people go nuts 
was the announcement of Sonic the Hedgehog in the game. Finally, Nintendo and Sega fanboys could lay the smack down in a what-if competition. Sure, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games could be good, but... No. Number two. When looking at a lot of the levels in this game, I thought that they looked kind of, meh, a bit too simplistic. And Nintendo's response to that was, you want complicated levels? Then go build them yourself, you lazy asshole. And that's exactly what they let us do. The level editor in this game, as simple and as little as we have seen, it looks like it's going to be incredible. Just pick the music, the background, complete control over everything that happens. Wow. But that's not all. On top of that, you can even put it online, submit it to Nintendo, and Nintendo submits the best ones to every Wii for that day. I mean, come on, that's just insane. You basically have an endless playtime for this game. I should probably start stocking up on SD cards, though. The best announcement in Brawl was something that a lot of people felt like it should have been there in the first place. And let me tell you, it's about damn time it was, and it's now here, and people are going nuts! The online play in Smash Brothers is definitely going to be the biggest selling feature. You can now play against any person you want, anywhere in the world, anytime. No more need to invite friends over. I bet you lazy people like that. Think about it, if Nintendo added on leaderboards and more use for the level editor, this game could just last forever. And to think, it's all because of the internet that we're able to do this. If universities hadn't been interested in finding a better way to share information, the internet would have never been born. Thanks, post-secondary education. Drinks are on me.